just hinted at a, at a key benefit of having a worldview or building a personal knowledge base on the foundation of truth. And that is the ability to discern reality from make-believe, <laughs> truth from error. Yeah, I mean, important that, skill. there's a category here we could call fantasy or, uh, you know, make-believe right. or, or yeah. falsehoods, really. You know, uh, from a biblical worldview, we know that evolution, it's, it's a falsehood. We can put it in that category. I mean, if you think biblically, you can just immediately just right. pop it in there. Put it in that, that fantasy category, along yeah. with you know, things like Star Wars and Lord of the Rings. <laughs> those, are, those are fictional. We understand yeah. that. It's, it's entertainment. Uh, we don't pretend that those things are real. Yeah, exactly. I mean, other things could include things like, well, well Jesus was just a good teacher. You know, right. and G Jesus isn't God, and, and atheism, and, and work-based religions, and, and millions of years. Those things just aren't true. They're falsehoods, right? They're in the realms of fantasy when you really think about it. They're at about the same level as a fictional novel that you might read. That's think right, about yeah. That. Of course, not everyone believes that those things are fictional. <laughs> in our postmodern world, the center of that worldview is self. Uh, truth is whatever you think it is. Reality is whatever you believe it to be. You know, I believe in myself. You know, reason is then based on self, your own thoughts. Uh, then it gets a little weird. Uh, ironically, that worldview actually accepts and adopts falsehoods, things that are in that fantasy category. It takes those thoughts captive, conforming them to self, mm -hmm. not to Christ. Exactly. You know, evolution fits into that worldview, it right? Does. So yeah. does millions of years. Uh, the idea of a very old earth. Atheism fits into the idea there's no God. Yep. And all, all, all three of those sort, uh, you know, they, they kind of travel together as a package deal anyway, right? Because you have to believe in evolution as yes. an atheist, etc. Yep. Uh, you know, along with the idea that, uh, you know, Jesus isn't God. That fits over there in that fantasy. Right. Yeah. They're all falsehoods. Yep. The, the more you build a worldview on truth, that your word is truth, as it says in John 17, 17, the more you're going to be able to discern between things that are right and things that are almost right, and, and things that are flat out wrong.